Hello, I'm Andrea Coleman from Artfelt and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make an elephant picture. To start, I suggest we make the bunting. Take your purple and your dark red, divide the purple in two and we'll make a small bit of pre-felt. Trap the fibres and pull away small amounts, all going in a horizontal direction. When you've used up that half, pat and turn and carry on going across the fibres in a different direction. If you just go from left to right with the purple, then we can go from right to left with the red, which creates a nice, interesting effect. And can mix the colours a little bit. Take your sari silk and chop it up and then sprinkle it all over your work. I'm now going to sprinkle it with the warm soapy water. You need to saturate it. And then put your thin plastic on top and press down. You need to keep pressing for quite a while. The longer you press, the, the better the result will be. After I've been pressing this for about a minute, I'm now going to put a bit of soapy water on top, like that, and then I'm going to rub my hands, as it's a small piece, it will just be one hand, up and down for a minute. After a minute, I will then do a quarter turn and rub in this direction for a minute. And after that, another minute like this, and lastly, a minute like this. Once you've done your four minutes rubbing, peel back your thin plastic and pinch your felt. See if the fibres are lifting or not. If they're lifting a lot, carry on and do a bit more. You could turn it over and do the other side. Having done felt for the bunting. I'm now going to do the felt for the elephants. I've mixed the pinks and the oranges for the first layer. Lay out your second layer. Mix the colours together. I tend to make a light end and a dark end just for variety. Now I can put the silk fibres on top and you need to lay them quite thinly. Pull them apart Just drape them over your work. Now you're ready to get this wet with your soapy water and don't forget this will take twice as long as your bunting did because it's a much bigger piece. At least two minutes rubbing in each direction. Once your elephant felt is ready, you can then cut out your elephant shapes using the template. If you're doing an, a tower like this, don't forget some will have to be upside down. When you've cut out your elephant, turn it over and you can add some of the scraps from the waist of your felt to the back of your elephant and just poke them in place with your needle. Turn it over and then attach the ear to this area here. You can also put a thin piece of plastic in between the ear and the body of your elephant. 
secure it by just doing a couple of pokes with your needle that will keep it in place. Cut out the triangles for your bunting and then we can attach the yarn. Poke it and let it shrink up a bit. Don't put them too close together. Attach them, but be careful when you lift them off the foam. For the background, we're going to start by using the duck egg blue in a vertical direction. Then, for the second layer, we're going to use the duck egg blue in the middle area and then top it with the light turquoise and the dark turquoise at the bottom. Then make a third layer in a horizontal direction. Again, start with the duck egg blue in the middle, use the darker turquoise at the bottom and the light turquoise at the top. Then you can use small amounts of the very bright turquoise and get the colours to mingle a little bit like we did with the elephant felt. When you finish that, put a tiny bit of the navy blue down on top of your dark area, just where we're going to place your elephant. It helps ground it so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. Place your bunting and if you want to create a spotty effect, cut up the little waste bits of bunting and sprinkle them around your elephant. Once you're happy with your design, you need to get it um, saturated with your soapy water solution. Make sure you press down on it for a long time. The longer you spend pressing, the more the shape of your elephant will stay uh, correct and not get distorted. When your felt is strong enough to handle, pick it up, turn it over and work very hard on this side. If you can see any hint of the elephant colour fibres coming through onto this side, it's usually an indication that your work is finished. To remove the thin plastic from the ear of your elephant, just very carefully snip any fibres that are attaching it. Like that. And now you're ready to rinse out and dry your elephant. When your elephant is dry, you can use the felting needle at an angle just to push in any stray fibres using your foam underneath. Like that. To make the eye, Pierce the area where you want your eye several times to create a small dimple and then taking some of your black, you only need a tiny bit, ball it up in your fingers, place it and then poke into place. With the tail, take again a very small amount of fibres and just twist one end between your fingers, place it where you'd like to see it and then poke it into place if you'd like to do a bigger picture don't forget, don't have your elephants too close to each other because as it shrinks, they'll get closer and closer. Once you've completed your small elephant picture, you might like to carry on and do a larger elephant picture. 
I also have other picture kits within my range and 3D animals.